I'm Victor Yenera, um, pre graduate student at the University of Arkansas, pursuing my um, postdoctorate um, in poetry science. Yes, my name is uh, Mona Giesberg. I work at, as an assistant professor at Utrecht University. And um, yeah, I've been um, animal uh, welfare science uh, for several years now. Um, I got to know about this scheme through my supervisor um, during my master's and undergraduate, Dr. Mrs. Oluwa Iyashere. So she was um, the one, uh, she's the UFO link to the um, university. So she um, came around and told us there's an opportunity for a mentorship program. So I see it as an opportunity to learn and also a fascinating, a fascinating opportunity to meet someone from outside of my university. So I just, um, for the um, mentorship program and since then it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, when I heard of this uh, mentoring scheme from, from UFA, um, I already had some years of uh, experience in teaching and uh, supervising bachelor, master, PhD students uh, at the university where I worked uh, yeah, at that time. Um, but that motive, yeah, what my motivation behind this was uh, to, um, to expand this uh, to a global level and to get to know um, groups around the world who um, engage in animal welfare science to get to know students um, yeah, from other countries um, as well. Okay, um, during the um, scheme, it gave me an opportunity um, to speak uh, with Dr. Mona. So together we were able to identify a research problem together. So after identifying a particular research problem, then we were able to come along together, process it together and design a project um, which was um, a maternal behavior in Nigeria and indigenous chicken. After which I was also able to learn how to successfully manage um, the project. And I'm very lucky we had very good results from that project. We got this connection to this um, international group and um, yeah, it was quite nice to, to build this uh, scientific network. And um, again, as Victor just mentioned, is working together on something. And then I always um, I always want to emphasize that the ideas are the, the own ideas of the student, of course. And my role is only in um, supporting them. Um, yeah, sometimes um, driving them a bit in the, in, the, in the right direction and then and, and helping them. And, but it's all the own idea of the student. And that, that I think was very rewarding also to see um, yeah, Victor grow and uh, how he developed uh, his idea further. Yeah, personally, I was a bit nervous and then not sure about um, the scheme and everything before when it all started. Well, I got very comfortable along the line when I started um, working um, with Dr. Mona. So I see it as an opportunity for them to actually come on board. And then with time, um, with the support and guidance of um, um, their mentor, it's going to give them an opportunity to actually explore and understand what um, research is all about. And then give them an opportunity to actually um, explore more and then understand the process more. Regarding time commitment, I would say just make some um, some really good agreements um, at the beginning so that you, for instance, uh, make a fixed uh, date for um, for meetings, that you make a uh, fixed date for, for deadlines, for drafts, and that you also communicate to the student, um, OK, I will look at your draft once, but I won't um, I won't be able to look at it if you send it me one hour before our meeting or something like that. So I think that's um, very important to make agreements and then I think yeah time or having time is um, yeah it's just a con it's just a concept so I think if you really want to do it then you will have that time and if you make these uh, uh, agreements and um, if a potential mentor might be worried about oh yes I'm just a PhD how can I mentor a student it's such, it's such a big word mentoring I would just say yeah you you experienced something yourself, you did a master's thesis, you maybe did your first experiment in your PhD or you wrote your first paper. 
And from all those experience, the, the new student, the, the prospective master uh, can learn a lot. The best thing was uh, was really um, yeah the connection with a group which I had no connections at all um, before of that uh, before that and um, yes and I think that um, that was also um, after this mentorship finished so um, Victor just invited me to to have a talk um, at his group and yeah and then you 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 see those publications and um, yeah you follow each other written social media and things like that so I think it's uh, it's great to to enlarge your scientific network and uh, yeah yeah like um when i said as well it's an opportunity for me to actually meet someone from outside of my university i think um she was the first person i'm going to be meeting like internationally so that was like a very great opportunity for me to actually meet someone outside my um university people i've actually worked with um it's, it's such um, a great privilege and also i see it um as an opportunity like it along the line the process of our um during the mentorship i i got more um inspired actually more to do um animal science and welfare and also um also um, um help other students around me to also um get involved also Yeah, I think it's an opportunity for growth. Over the past years, I've been able to move from one level to another level. So personally, I think it's an opportunity for growth, which has given me an opportunity to proceed on to my PhD presently now. I think it's definitely uh, networking. Um, yeah, kind of um, um, diversification as well for your own experiences, but also um they diversifying the field of animal welfare science where yeah not all groups have such a long traditions or not all students are um are lucky enough to have a man um a very experienced uh, supervisor um in their own group like let's say that um and so it, yeah i would say just just fun because i think it's it's science should be fun and i think we are we are all doing it because it's Kind of fun. We want to, um, we want to explore something. We want to get to know something. Um, we want to solve animal welfare um, issues. And um, I think we are not. It's not a normal job doing doing animal welfare science. Yeah. <laughs>